Hey everyone, Rishi Sunak recently completed his coup and started settling into the job as Prime Minister, part of which involves proving that he's in touch with the common man. That's why he decided to start meeting with people who are not as rich and privileged as he are, you know, people like King Charles at the palace, or the FTSE 100 leaders who have to make do with living in a house and ordering in their own groceries. Rishi and the King do have much to discuss, though, and celebrate. He is, after all, one of the longest-serving Prime Ministers this month. Talking about King Charles, though, the Bank of England recently announced that they're very close to publishing the new banknotes featuring the monarch. Although a number of city traders have been saying that there's Charlie in the banknotes for years. In other news, North Korea has been firing missiles into the Pacific Ocean again, and the Japanese government are obviously very concerned, but admitted that they're at the same time grateful to the Hermit Kingdom for continuing to keep Godzilla at bay. Here's one for you. How many North Koreans does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer, none, because the leadership keeps them in the dark. James Corden, the television host and alleged comedian, was forced to apologise after some ghastly stories emerged about his behaviour at a New York restaurant and the way that he continually mistreated members of the studio crew. In response, those defenders told people to lay off him because he does have a wife and three chins to support. And Jerry Lee Lewis finally passed away at the age of 87, which is especially tragic because his wife was just set to graduate high school next week. As rigor mortis set in, one of the doctors commented that there was, quote, a whole lot of shaking going on. And later, as he descended into hell, the devil was claimed to have seen him yelling, Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.